Hello guys, today I have an interesting video with a new technology and promising LTO batteries. I chose to bring the specific batteries mainly for testing to see if the specs written on the seller page are valid, because it is a bit difficult to believe the ratio of the specs to price, 36 euros for 6 pieces. The promising specification of the batteries are that they can charge with a maximum current rate of 25 amps, maximum discharge rate at 37 amps, 25,000 charge discharge cycles, and the most important point is that, as we know, LTO batteries are more stable and they do not explode. At first look, the battery looks like a simple capacitor but it is a battery with the same dimension as the 18650 lithium batteries. The polarity of the terminals as determined by the black line which is the negative pole as well as the capacitors. The first problem which I see is that the terminals are too close to each other and they can easily short. Other problem is that the terminals are only 0.9mm thin, so we know that it is not designed to discharge at 35 amps through these terminals.
On this charge, we notice that current is not as indicated in specification of the battery, most likely because LTO batteries voltage are too low. So, I will try two batteries in series. A very strange thing we see on discharge current. It starts at slow current and as it goes it increases. So this battery is not a good solution for high drain projects like power electric bikes or electric scooters, unless we add multiple batteries in parallel. At the moment I cannot discharge over 22 amps because my device does not allow me to do that. So, I will leave the discharge C rate point as it is. The results which we get is around 1.5 amp capacity at 22 amp discharge. As you understand, we get about half capacity, probably due to the large discharge rate. Now, let's throw the current at one C rate to see the actual capacity of the battery. As you can see again, we have almost the same results. A very good sign for the battery because at high currents and low currents it has almost the same results. But for some reason the capacity is half. I believe that the seller sent us 1500mAh capacity battery instead of 3000mAh. Generally, the battery showed very good results. If we say that the battery was 1500 mA, I highly recommend it on its charge and discharge performance, low operating temperatures and resistance to abuse.
That is for today. If you want to proceed for more serious tests like the short circuit or destroy the battery to see how safe this LTO technology is, let me know in the comments and we will talk in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.